lamps, and rings, all made by a printer. With the latest generation of 3D printers, the possibilities for design appear endless. In Amsterdam, the Freedom of Creation Company, or FOC, specializes in product design using 3D printing technology. Designer Brian Garrett is fascinated by the technology. As a designer, it's one of the most interesting fields because you can design something new every day and you don't have uh, restrictions that you have uh, with design uh, normally. So you don't have uh, to design molds, you don't have minimum order quantities. You just make something in the morning and in the afternoon it's uh, done and you have it in your hands. The larger items are printed by high-tech devices that cost tens of thousands of euros, like one made by the German firm EOS. The printer then turns the digital file, layer by layer, into a three-dimensional physical object. There's just a lot of uh, new machines coming out, new materials. Uh, it's like every month there's a new uh, development in 3D printing. And there's printing in rubbers, there's printing in ceramics, there's printing in glass, metal. You name it, you can pretty much print it. Well-known designers like Martin Bas are also interested in the technology. The Dutch designer plans to produce miniature copies of the chair he created to support a campaign at Amnesty International. The original chair, standing five meters tall, was built by hand. Now FOC is to print a small format version. It's for me a nice, um, uh, a nice first step into this world and seeing, seeing the possibilities of it. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I will work more with uh, with this technique. Even shoes can be printed. The new technology promises to make customized design more affordable and available to more people. I think in 10 years, um, people will send their products over the internet and share it with friends, uh, like we now share things on Facebook, for example, and your friends can just download the design and print it at home with their uh, home printer. Companies like Shapeways in the Netherlands are already putting the idea into action. Customers can modify a design or create their own and upload it to the company for printing. At Open Design City in Berlin, amateur designers can work on site and print their own designs. Co-founder Philipp Stefan purchased a small 3D printer, which can print small objects made of plastic. Here in Open Design City, we use it to show what's possible, to open people's eyes to the idea of designing with a computer, rather than building objects with their own hands. A chess piece designed on the computer can be printed here for less than 10 euros. The printing process takes about 15 minutes. Although the printer is more complicated to operate than an ordinary one, it's relatively affordable at 800 euros. The software is for people who like to sink their teeth into things, who like looking through hundreds of parameters to figure it out. It's not something for the end user, who just expects it to work. At least not quite yet, but in the past years, major manufacturers have started bringing 3D printers to market that are simpler to operate. And they might soon become affordable as well. At the University of Vienna, a prototype 3D printer is being developed that's set to cost 1,200 euros. Soon, customized designs like this chess figure could become a part of everyday life. And until that happens, we can give our fantasies free reign.